All right, what's up homies? I hope you're doing well. So today we're gonna do a little before and after uh, retouching, very quick cycle from our raw editor into Photoshop and then export that out as a JPEG. Uh, you can definitely spend you know, hours and hours retouching you know, portraiture, landscape, so on. Um, but we're gonna keep it very simple, brief, and just learn a few you know, quick, simple tools to build our foundation within Photoshop and so on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna move pretty quickly. So uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, put them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. So today we're gonna to start with a simple photo. Uh, this is actually my fiance. We just got engaged uh, about a week or so ago. Um, we're gonna take this and I'm using Capture One. It's my personal favorite, but if you're using Lightroom, that's totally okay as well. Um, what we're gonna do is keep it simple. Again, we're gonna actually apply a quick style on here just to keep things moving. So these are um, from the Beyond Film style set, which you can buy from Capture One. And I'm gonna use this K200. It's pretty quick out of the box and very beautiful, very stylized as you can see. Um, for a shoot like this, I think this, this really just makes sense. Um, so we're gonna apply that and then we're gonna do a quick adjustment as well. Um, let's see, so I think we can bring the contrast down just a touch bring those highlights down just a little bit as well, especially on the face you see there. And then what I'm gonna do is go to the skin tones. It does have a skin tone adjustment here. Um, and if you're not using Capture One, you might not be familiar with this, but this is a skin tone tool that I absolutely love. But what we're gonna do is zero these items out and then apply our own in another layer. So I'm gonna do Command L to make a new layer. We're gonna name that Skin Tones. And then we're gonna sample our own skin tone here. Usually grab a spot on the cheek there. Let's see if we got that, perfect. So the hue, this will bring it a little more to the magenta side. I'm actually gonna bring it a little towards the greener side as well. We're gonna bring the lightness down just a touch. Bump the saturation a little bit, it's a little washed out. And then this is where the magic happens right here. So going to the uniformity, what this will do is uh, even out the hues across the board. You can go all the way and bring it down some. What I might do is actually bring the lightness down a little bit more. There we go. And we're going to even out the saturation a bit as well. Not too much because you can get a little like weird looking. And then lightness, most importantly, this will kind of balance out the exposure on the face. Um, kind of remove some of those like lower mid tones and even out those shadows too. So there's that. I'm going to bring the lightness down just a little bit more. You can see what that's doing there. Kind of like it right in there and then while we're in here this is all in the skin tones i'm going to bring the highlights down just a little bit and if you press m you can see your mask and this is what this layer is affecting and what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to invert the mask and apply it just to the face so it's not affecting these holly berries and so on so shift command i to invert that and then using our brush we're just going to gently brush that in with a nice soft brush making sure just to affect those skin tones right here. Super simple, and honestly, this is already taking us to a pretty great place with this photo. Again, it's very stylized. Get in that area just a little bit. Turn the mask off, and you can see what's happening here. More even exposure, seems to fit the setting a little bit better, and um, I really like that, so perfect. We're gonna leave that here. Um, you can do, you know, uh, some retouching and blemish removal, things like of that nature within Capture One, but I tend to just, I'm kind of old school, I like to do it in Photoshop. So what we'll do is control click our image here and we're gonna do the option to edit with Adobe Photoshop 2021. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop 2021 and what we'll do is duplicate our background layer. That's pretty simple, just to make sure we're working in a non-destructive manner. And then I'm gonna kind of show you what I, what I envision doing for this layer. So let's do new layer and I'm just gonna do adjustments. So I'm gonna take my brush and here's what I think we'll do. We'll clean up these little areas here and I might tidy this up as well, this up as well. And then what I wanna do is add some more berries into the background here, probably here as well. We'll do a little tidy up on the face and I think that's really it. Adding some space in here. We might darken this up a little bit, bring that down. 
But that's kind of my intention for this photo and um, let's just go ahead and jump in and do it. So first things first, I'm gonna do a new layer. We'll call it Heal and then we're gonna do our um, Spot Healing Brush tool, which is uh, Shortcut J or you can get it through here, Spot Healing Brush. And you can control the size by using Control, Option and dragging up or down. And we're gonna zoom in here. I think we can just tidy up this little like more or less just a distraction. Perfect, perfect. Cleaning these up, just brushing over them very gently and easily. And this is a little bit of a distraction as well. Especially around the face, we don't want to pull away from her beautiful face. Do a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's jump into the face and keep it on the same layer, it's just fine. And as far as retouching, I don't care to do anything, you know, extravagant or taking it too far. Um, for me, of course, she's beautiful. This is my fiance we're talking about. But uh, what we wanna do is just clean up some minor blemishes, things that are, um, you know, short-term blemishes. This is not something that we're gonna, we're gonna adjust that are like actual character features. So just pop in here. Let's see, Jay, we might just tidy up this little line here. Looks good, same over here as well. Nothing to it. We're using again that spot healing brush. A little blemish here and here. Everything else I'm super comfortable with. Um, we are all humans. There are always gonna be imperfections on our face, but um, we don't want to disguise someone or make them look like they're someone else. And that's how I feel about it. So little blemishes in here. Just kind of smoothing those out, and this is such a great software because it does a killer job um, tuning those up. And I might just get this hair out of here, gently just removing that. And I'm using the Wacom tablet here. You can use your mouse or your trackpad, of course. And that looks pretty good. I might just tidy that up as well. Super simple. And backing out a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. We'll keep it again simple there. We could spend you know much longer time in here, but I think that's gonna do the trick for us today. Let's make a new layer and we're gonna call this um, let's just call it clone stamp tool, keeping it simple. So what I was referring to is I, I think that this side is a lot more um, full and luscious, whereas this side seems to be lacking a little bit. So we're gonna do a simple technique using our clone stamp tool, which is the um, shortcut S, or you can select it here, clone stamp tool. And what we're gonna do, the way this tool works is you'll just make a selection by holding option and clicking, and it'll select a portion of your image, and then you can then paint from that reference tool or reference point into a new area. So I'll show you how that works. For example, I'm gonna make sure we've got a little softness going on here. Let's say we wanna take this and then brush it in here. So we've made our selection. You can see over here where it's utilizing that reference point and we're just brushing in here. Especially in areas that are a little out of focus, you can you can achieve this very easily. Um, this is a great example of that. And then we can go in and mask out areas too that we think maybe didn't look so great as well. Might use, that's a great spot. I'd love to reuse that. Maybe in here. that works maybe a little bit of this down here too that looks great and we're not looking for perfection here we just want to get a, uh, a general general repopulation of these holly berries so that's looking much better I think there's a little area here that could use a little something too great 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 Let's just use this here, this for do, do, do. Perfect, so there's that. Let's do a new layer now. And what we'll do is actually tidy up this fence area. So let's just call it fence removal. Perfect, and we'll probably use that same tool. I think we can even just uh, sample using our clone stamp tool. Let's make it a little bit smaller and we sample something that's not so close to the area, about right there. Tidy this up, but for now we're just gonna add in some of that same sampling right here. And what I'll do is 
get in really tight. I don't think we need to, you know, get our pin tool out or anything for this. We can just get it where it, it appears to be perfectly realistic and acceptable for what we're doing. Boom. So there's that. And then one more spot right in, underneath her arm. I, I want to tidy that up as well. So even using that same sample, I think we can do that. a little more of a practical uh, entry point here that looks good yeah looks pretty great let's back out to full view all right so we can turn that on and off so we've updated that fence over here we've added in a little more character a little more fill if you will and the adjustments that's still the same of course and our heel just tidying that up as well so up next, let's do a simple color balance adjustment layer. And I do this on a lot of skin tone work. Um, sometimes skin tones could use a little accentuation. And what this does is you can adjust within the shadows, mid-tones, or highlights. For skin tones, we'll be using the mid-tones. And then what we can do is just add a little bit of warmth. Doesn't take much. We'll add a little red, and then we'll add a little bit of yellow as well. And even pull back on the red and increase the yellow. She's got beautiful natural skin, um, super jealous always, but uh, I think this is gonna accentuate that and make her give, or make her have a little bit of that pop that we're looking for. So we've done that, but now we're gonna mask that. So we're gonna take our mask, invert it, get our brush tool, and let's just zoom in a little bit. Let's make sure our brush is on white to fill this in in our mask. And just brush, brush, brush. Just a little bit, scaling down just a little bit. Okay, so I'll turn that on. See, it's a little cooler, a little bit of like cyan, not cyan, like maybe like a magenta even, but turn it on and we get that kind of warm glow that we're after. So I like that very much. Let's back out a little bit. Anything else that we need to do? Honestly, I think that's great. Let's do kind of the same thing, but with the curves adjustment layer and drop it down just a little bit. I'm gonna invert that with Command-I, making our uh, our mask now black so it's completely um, unavailable. But we're gonna take our brush and scale it up. And let's make sure we've got a soft brush and just brush in over here. This is a little fence back here, but I like having that brushed in just a touch. Drop the opacity some so it's not so dramatic. There we go. And then last things last, maybe we do Tell you what, let me grab our uh, selection elliptical marquee tool. And we're just gonna drag and hold option. And so we've made this selection, but then we're gonna create a new layer and do curves and do the same thing here. Bring that down, but what's gonna happen is once we invert that, we have uh, essentially what would be a vignette. And we're going to feather that vignette. You run like 200 plus is a good spot. On, off, on. Very nice. Bring the opacity down just a little bit to bring that to a more natural place. And there we go. Um, so what we've done, just to recap, what we have is a quick heel tool, just cleaning up some distractions, some nuance on the face clone stamp tool to add in a little bit of just fluff to the background, the fence removal. We just tidied that up very simply. Color balance, which is gonna kind of accentuate the features of the face and the coloring and tonality. Our curves adjustment layer here, which just bring down the right side of the frame. And then lastly, a simple vignette. So I think that looks pretty awesome. What I'm gonna do is uh, quick stamp visible. Uh, the shortcut for that is Command Option Shift E for me. And then what we'll do is last thing, going to filter. And if you're in Photoshop 2021, this is available. Uh, go to Neural Filters. And we're gonna do a simple thing. I don't like to use this too aggressively. I think it can be uh, very easily detectable and it looks a little uh, ridiculous, if you will. But we have a skin smoothing feature here. Uh, it defaults to a 50% blur and smoothness at zero. I think this is a little too dramatic, so we're gonna bring that down to about, I think under like 15 tends to be a little more natural. 
I think, let's see, nine, seven or so. We can increase the smoothness a little bit if we decide to. And we're gonna take this a little too far. We're gonna park it in a little more extreme place. Hit OK. And then what this will do is create a new layer with just this selection. You can almost see it down here, but turn this off on you see how it smooths out that skin really beautifully but i think it's a little too far and that's why i tend to take it too far because then we'll adjust the opacity down to something a little more like realistic i think 75 percent might be a little accurate but what that's doing is smoothing out those skin tones smooth, uh, smoothing out that skin texture as well and then really just making it, it nice and clean so i love this i think we're all done we'll hit command save and since we are editing in uh, Capture One and we hit save, we'll now get a copy of this within our Capture One folder there. And we can also export quickly. I use Shift Option Command S and we'll do JPEG quality 60% works for me. And I'm gonna bring down this for a more web ready option. I think we can do oops, like 50% just for this instance. And we'll save it out. Engagement photos. Perfect. So I'll show you a quick before and after here. And if you want to see what we started with here, pretty cool. So within Capture One, we've saved our PSD, which is uh, cataloged it here. But we can see our initial photograph here and then our adjustments here. Um, through the entire process and I think that's a huge difference we've got beautiful smooth glowing skin and we've really taken what's you know probably a mediocre photo at best um, to something that looks pretty fantastic and almost has a little cinematic quality very stylized and um, and it's beautiful so that simple and that's really my bit on quick retouching from your raw editor into Photoshop. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, I know I did, please be sure to subscribe and look forward to doing it again. Thanks y'all.